Alright, step one for this cocktail is making sugar glass. Two cups of water go into a saucepan along with one cup of corn syrup. Three and a half cups of white sugar. Followed by a quarter teaspoon of cream of tartar. Bring that to a boil and you want to get that to 300 degrees Fahrenheit. So use a candy thermometer if possible. It's going to take a while. Once that's done, you'll be able to pour it out onto silicon mats and make them into little rings like I'm doing here. And a leftover you can do whatever you want with. Try to make them as thin as possible. Then spray it with white and silver food coloring. The drink itself is pretty simple. It's like an old fashioned, so a few dashes of uh, Angostura bitters and a few dashes of orange bitters. Then an ounce and a half or two ounces of bourbon. Add about a cup of ice and stir about 20 to 40 times and strain into a glass. Now we're gonna add the sugar ice on top and the piece de resistance, a scotch rock or whiskey stone, and that is the stone's throw. It's pretty to look at, admire it, and then the way to drink it though is like this. Trust me, it's as satisfying to drink it as it is to do. It tastes just like an old fashioned, and uh, drink, don't drink it too slow because it might get too sweet. So we start this cocktail by drizzling the inside of a cup with white chocolate syrup that we add a blue food dye to. Next we add an ounce of cream into a blender, one and a half ounces of white chocolate syrup, half an ounce of mint syrup or mint liqueur. Blend that until it becomes frothy with a cup of ice and add that back to the glass. Next, we're going to add a floater of a high proof rum and light it on fire. This cocktail tastes great, but uh, watch out, it can be very strong with that rum or let a lot of it burn off. Either way, be careful. For this final cocktail, you want to spray the inside of a glass with silver, black, and blue food coloring, and you'll get this result. Let it dry a little bit before you finish the cocktail. This cocktail is a riff on a Negroni, uh, and it's very easy to make. One ounce gin, one ounce Campari, and one ounce sweet vermouth. I'm also going to add a little bit of raspberry syrup or you can use grenadine or any sort of red syrup you have. Next add a cup of ice and about a quarter teaspoon of red or maroon food coloring and blend that up. We're going to pour that into a glass and that's going to be the inside of the cocktail and we're going to spray that on top with more food coloring. I start with black food coloring then a little bit of blue food coloring, and then finally some silver food coloring. It really does look like the skin of a dragon in person. Next, spray some toothpicks down with white and silver food coloring. Score the chopstick about four inches from the top, and you'll be able to snap it off with ease. We're making the Night King spear here. To serve the cocktail, you want to insert the spear into the drink and you'll see the blood and guts of the quote unquote dragon coming out. So it's a fun cocktail to drink and it tastes great, even though it's one of the saddest moments in the episode.